How to Taste Sparkling Wine with viticulturist Stephen Skelton. So what do you look for in a sparkling wine? Balance. When you need good length, you need a nice mousse. I don't know what that means, balance. Balance between acidity and sweetness, between the body of the wine and the, and the buzz of the, of the spritz or fizz on the, on the palate. Uh -huh. It should be balanced. It shouldn't be too harsh. It should be long. You should have a good nose. It should be yeasty. And I hope this wine is going to tick all those boxes. Okay. Uh, well, tell us about this specific bottle This, of this wine. specific wine is, is a vineyard I planted in 2006. Uh, this is a vintage from 2011, so the vines were about five or six years old. But the thing about it is it's been on the lees, as we say. It's been in this bottle for 10 years. Is that good? Yeah. Uh, the longer you keep a sparkling wine, the better it is, the better ah. it gets. And the best are sometimes 20, 30 years old. Do you ever open a bottle of wine that you're expecting to be wonderful and it just... Quite often. Quite often? Yeah, it happens. Sometimes they get uh, corked or... Uh, or it just doesn't live up to the, the hype. Well, let's... But I think this is going to be good. Okay, let's try it. Shall we try it? Yep. Well, I need to open it carefully so we don't lose too much of the, uh, the fizz. Uh, so you mean when you open it, you could lose you fizz? Could, you can, yeah, you can do, but we're going to try and open this very gently. We're going to open it professionally. Ooh, look at this. I'm excited. So You're not going to ask me what I think, are you? I am, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to lead you through this tasting as if you're training to be a master of wine. So that's... Ooh, ooh yeah. Right. So the first thing you need to do is to look at it. Now, you just hold it by the stem. Oh, it's, it is fizzing. You, got, you see you've got the bubbles coming from, the, from there. And that's a good thing. Yeah, you see they're nice and small. And then you nose it. You get a nice yeasty character, bread, break it, baking bread, brioche as we call it. Mm. It's got good acidity. Mm. It bites on the palate, but it softens out towards the end. That's the sweetness coming through. And then it's got length. You can count the number of seconds and you can taste it. And that's a gorgeous, gorgeous bottle of wine. Cheers. Thank you. Lovely. Good selecting.